Hello and welcome back to a new video about pneumatics. This time we're going to talk about wave valves. Last time we talked about control elements, introduction control elements. The most important control element is the wave valve. Now we're talking about what a wave valve is. Usually we always have to task to put somewhere air or to relieve from somewhere air. Then we can control anything. And exactly this is what a wave valve is doing. Okay? A wave valve is a piece of metal, yeah, usually, which has a bunch of connections. Yeah? So there are a lot of, might be only two, an input and output, or there might be more than two. Yeah? And pressure input, working outputs, left, right, and whatever. Yeah? So we have some connectors yeah? and a wave valve can switch ways between those connectors. Yeah? We can select a way if one connector shall be connected to this connector or to this connector and what happens to the other connector and so on. Yeah? This is what a wave valve does. A wave valve let us just select the ways between the connectors. Okay? I show you at an example. The symbol of a wave valve usually looks like this. This is one field of a wave valve. And now let's say we have two connectors, one is here and one is here. Right now they are terminated inside the wave valve. This means no, there is no going through. Okay. So, this wave valve has two connectors. This is already the first, the first naming thing here, yeah? two. Because it has two connectors. whatever they do now. Yeah? And then, this is one position, and in the second position, I can change those positions, it might look different. Yeah? So I can draw a second position here. And the second position yeah, would look like this, let's say. So in our case, we have two position. Two positions. And this is exactly what the way valve is called a two slash two or short two two way valve. Okay? This is what is behind the naming of the wave valves, two, two wave valve, two connections, two pos positions. Yeah. I draw this in this order. Yeah. So in this position, it's blocked. Yeah. And I can imagine to shift this to the other position, then it would look, then it would look like this. Now it shifted, because I moved this, now the two connectors are connected. Yeah? Now air can run through. Yeah? The connections, yeah? there is usually a number. So one, one, is usually the pressure. Here we have the pressure source, yeah? here we have our compressed air, and then two, Two, four, six, all even numbers, they are the working, working connectors. 
and the uneven number three, five, seven, tuk tuk tuk, the relief, relief connector. Here we can get rid of the pressure. Right now we have only one and two. Okay, two two way valve. Let's draw another possibility of way valve. I draw it. So it's already a slash two, yeah. slash two, because we have two positions. Okay. Then these are the two possible things, and now. Three, one, one, two, three. Yeah. If we are in this position, one is coupled with two, so a two is pressured. Yeah. If we are in this position, two would then be coupled with three, and two can relieve the pressure. Yeah. So this is a three, two, three slash two way valve. One possibility. Another possibility. Exactly the same, but the other way around. Huh? The two connections. This is also called a three slash two way valve, of course, because it is simply three connectors and two possible ways of combining them. Three two way valve. However, this time in this in the original position, this time it is not that the pressure will simply be blocked and two is already relieved. Only if I switch it, it will change. If one of these positions, usually the right one, is the one which is default, which has to be there, if no other thing are acting on those on this valve, this is the default position. Then this is a valve which has been default flow. Yeah. So this here is called default flow. Durchflussruhestellung in German. And this is default block. Sperrruhestellung. Okay. However, this is only applicable if there is really, is there's really uh, standard position. So this is how wave valves might look. Yeah? Really complicated one. Yeah? Slash two of course. Slash two. Yeah? Two positions. Yeah? And now yeah? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Five connectors. Five two way valve. If we're in this position, the pressure will go to two and the pressure four is relieved. Because three and five I relieve connectors. If we switch to the other position, one is then connected with four and two is relieved. 
Huh? Usually, like I said, it's only drawn in one particular way. Huh? One particular way. And the other thing I have to think about. Huh? These are the symbols. These are the symbols of wave valves. Huh? Sometimes in catalogs and so on, it's interesting that even on a 3 2 wave valve, yeah, we have two. positions and there's even drawn one in the middle but only dotted. Yeah. I will make this example. Yeah. I'll make again this example. Okay. And here it might look like this. What does this mean, this dotted thing? Yeah. This is during switching. Yeah. If you see something like this, yeah, then this is during switching. This means in this position, one is connected with two. Then during switching, during we switch to the other position, all connectors might or are, are stopped, yeah, closed, and then we are opening two to three. Yeah. So this here, <clears throat> is so-called without overlapping. Yeah. These dotted things are only during switching. Another possibility would look, would be like this. Again, the same. And here we can do it like this. Okay? So this would be with overlapping. So during switching, all connectors are connected to each other with overlapping. Okay. Usually these things are not drawn. Yeah? In a diagram or something like this, we use these. Yeah? But in catalogs, this might be useful to see if this is with or without overlapping. Okay. These are the symbols of wave valves. Now you know what a wave valve is. Yeah? And now I also said, hey, we are moving this. Yeah. There are different, different possibilities of how such things might be moved. Yeah. One possibility, one possibility is we draw it usually. I will draw it simply here. Draw it usually here. Yeah. So this is one possibility. Spring loaded. This means. A spring will always try to pull this in this direction. Yeah? And on the other side, that's a mechanical operation. I can press. As long as I press here, it's open. If I relieve it, it's then closed. Yeah? This is one possibility. So the connectors or what is doing here, yeah, we will draw simply at the edges. Yeah? So. There is the possibility, following possibilities we have. We said this is a mechanical, mechanical push button, push button no longer, not too much defined. Yeah? Then there would be really a push button operated for hand. Yeah? This would look like this. Yeah? Like in the train. Okay? Then, for instance, Something like this. This would be a pedal uh, with the foot, uh, different types, uh, simply of, of operation. Very often you will see things like this. 
This is electrically operated. Huh? Electromechanic, electromagnetically operated. Huh? Not only. You can switch this with current, with electric energy. Okay. Often used also this here. Roller. Huh? Usually it'll use this limit switch. So if this if a cylinder is going out, it will press this. Okay. It will press this. So there are different type of, of operations. There is even if we have a slash three valve, there's even the possibility that on the left and right side we do have springs. And then additionally electrically operated. Yeah? So this is usually done at things like this. Yeah? Three different. If none of the electrically operated, then the, the, the springs will push them in the middle position. If here we push it to this position, if here we push it to this position. Yeah? And here are then the connectors here, simply. Yeah? Whatever this valve looks like. Yeah, so there are different different connection things. Huh? One possibility I have not mentioned up to now yeah, is this. Now it's pneumatically operated. Okay. This means if here is pressure, it will shift. Yeah? If here is no pressure, then there is no operation. Yeah? For instance, if I press here, this would mean this would mean one two. Yeah? This is then the connector one two, because this line, if here is pressure, will connect one with two. Yeah? Also, this line here, yeah? this would call, be called two three. 2 is connected to 3. Yeah. This line here would be called 1, 2 also. Yeah. Or this is also called 1, 0. Yeah. We turn it off. That's it for the connection names and for the wave valves. Yeah. So now you know what a wave valve is. Uh, yeah, there we will learn in the next series of videos quite a little bit more about those wave valves. Yeah? So there's also the possibility of pre-controlled wave valve, for instance. And uh, yeah, but now for the start, you should really know what a wave valve is, what the symbol is, what it means if you have three two, and what it means default block to default flow. Yeah. And what type of, of, of connectors or what type of operations there might be. Yeah? And what those dotted things are, yeah, with and without overlapping, we also have covered in this video. Yeah? Next time we are going to talk about uh, other type of valves. We are going to talk about flow valves. Okay? For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.